Welcome back to Infigyar, my dear friends, in this very, very exciting and powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. In this series, we'll be solving today one very interesting system of equations. Equations are 1 over cube root x plus 1 over cube root y times 1 plus 1 over cube root x times 1 plus 1 over cube root y. This is equal to 18 and 1 over x plus 1 over y is 9. Now we have to find out real valued x and y. So let's get started. Let us consider this is our equation 1, equation 2. Now we can observe 1 over cube root x, 1 over x is involved. 1 over cube root y, 1 over y is involved. So everything is in denominator. So we have to give substitution like we can remove or reduce this complexity. How it could be? Let me consider 1 over x is equal to p cube. So I will consider 1 over y equal to q cube. Everything will be resolved. And see x and y are in denominator also. So we can write here x, y cannot be 0. Now what I will do? I will reframe, transform the given set of equation, these equations. So let me write equation number 1 again. Now 18 I will write to the right hand side. Okay. Now 1 over cube root x. So p here. Now 1 over cube root y. So q done. Second bracket 1 plus 1 plus 1 over cube root x. So p 1 plus p and last you will write 1 over cube root y that is q. So equation is looking nice now. Equation number 2 p q 1 over x is p q 1 over y is q q equal to 9. Now I will use one strong powerful algebraic identity or formula which will cover up this. How? See it is 1 p plus q, 1 plus p, 1 plus q. It is reminding something. Let me demonstrate. I will use this algebraic formula or identity a plus b plus c whole q. It is a q plus b q plus c q plus 3 times a plus b times b plus c times c plus a. This is what we know. Now I will substitute a is equal to p b is equal to q, c is equal to 1. See what will happen. Target only this section. In place of here it will become pq, qq, 1 cube, done, plus 3. Now a plus b, p plus q, b plus c, q plus 1, and c plus a, 1 plus, so I will write p plus 1. Now check, our equation number 1 is p plus q times p plus 1 times q plus 1. So that is same thing, 18. Here I will substitute the equation 1 completely. And this is our equation number 2. So here I will put the equation number 1 using one algebraic identity. 18, here I will put 9. So from this we can conclude p plus q plus 1 whole q would be 9 plus 1 that is 10 plus 3 times 18. So it will become 10 plus 54 which is equal to 64 and 64 we can see 4q. So one is strong conclusion. Our system of equation converted into the simplest form, it would be equal to 4, okay, or p plus q equal to 3. Now equations are very much in the easiest side. So equation number 1 is p plus q equal to 3, equation number 2 is p q plus q cube equal to 9. Let me write here, 3 p q plus q q equal to 9. Now what I will do from equation 1 I can put over there or I can use the algebraic identity. So let us use the algebraic identity. 
a cube plus b cube, p cube plus q cube, we will write p plus q, p square plus q square minus p q equal to 9. From equation 1, we can write q is equal to 3 minus p also. Okay. Here I will put equation 1 fully. So that would be 3. In bracket p square plus q square. So in that place I will write 3 minus p whole square minus p and in place of q again I will put 3 minus p bracket close 9. Now I can cancel this 3 and 9 by writing over there 3. Let's expand p square plus 9 plus p square minus 6p minus 3p plus p square equal to 3. So p square p square p square 3p square minus 6p minus 3p minus 9p and 9 in the LHS, 3 in the RHS. So I will write plus 6 over here and right hand side would be 0. Divide this equation by 3. p square minus 3p plus 2 equal to 0. Now we will find out p values using quadratic formula, Sridharachar formula. Let us apply p is equal to minus b. Let me write minus of minus 3 plus minus a square root minus 3 is square that is b square minus 4 a is 1 c is 2 divided by 2 as a is 1. Now I will write 3 plus minus a square root 9 minus 8 divided by 2. Now I will write 3 plus minus 9 minus 8 is 1 a square root 1 is 1 divided by 2. Once I will consider plus sign then 4 over 2 so I need to write here 2. Once I will consider minus sign then I need to write 2 over 2 which will give us 1. Now remember p plus q equal to 3 and our substitution was p we substituted actually at the beginning. The earlier it was 1 over x if you remember it was equal to p q and 1 over y was q q. So at last we have to find out x and y not p and q. Okay, so I can conclude p is equal to 2, then q will be using p plus q equal to 3 equation. From this equation and the result of p, it was 2 and 1, so q would be 1 and 2. Their sum is 3, so once p will be 1, 2, then q will be 1. If p is 1, then q will be 2, addition would be 3. Now we have to find out x and y. So let me find out. I will write 1 over x is equal to p q. So x will be equal to 1 over p q. Similarly y will be 1 over q q. Okay, our set of solution if x is 2, if p is 2, then q is 1. So from here we can write x is equal to 1 over p cube. So I will write 2 cube. That will create 1 over 8 as a result. Similarly, we will find out y. y would be 1 over q cube and q is 1. So 1. So here we are getting 1 over 8 comma 1. One set of solution. For the second set where p is 1, q is 2. Then we will write it is 1 over 1q. So, I will write 1 and y would be 1 over 2q. So, I need to write here 1 over 8. So, this time I will write solution as 1 comma 1 over 8. So, our final solution will be, let me write here, x is equal to 1 by 8 comma 1, x comma y let me write both the solutions comma 1 comma 1 by 8 okay i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video take care of yourself